Hey, everybody. Um, it is my pleasure to have on this little quick little call here, Yako Haman, uh, a, a, a good friend of mine. He's also the professor of religion and uh, psychology uh, at Vanderbilt Divinity School and a man of many talents. And, uh, and he's no stranger to some folks at East Brentwood Presbyterian Church as whenever I skip out of town, he comes into this place to cover for me. And uh, we have a real treat that he's gonna be here on August the 15th. And we're gonna get to that in just a moment, but let me, um, um, uh, let me bring Yako into this and that. Hey Yako, last time we were together, we were having breakfast and you were talking about how you were getting ready to have, uh, go on a big bike, um, for me it's bicycling, for you it's motorcycle trip around across the country. So um, you, um, I haven't seen you since then and I wanna know how that trip was. And then I also, uh, when we were having breakfast, you were talking about the upcoming book that you were going to have coming out and um, what's the status of that book? And then uh, what that book, what is that book about? Yeah, yeah, John, thank you. It's always good being with you and it's always great visiting your, your community. You are very gracious hosts when, when I come and, and, and visit. So yeah, so I just returned from a 4,800 mile trip, leaving Nashville and um, visiting the Colorado Rockies first. Then I went through sort of Moab, Utah, and then I cut south to the Grand Canyon. Uh, at the Grand Canyon, I turned north to Yellowstone and from Yellowstone sort of meandered back. And so trying to do as many national parks in, in, in between. And, and the one thing that struck me on, on this ride was just how many people were out there. You could see that folk were, I think, hungry for the outdoors. Uh, and of course, all COVID infused and, and, and fueled by a pandemic that left us home for a, for a long time and sort of uh, in, in, in isolation. And so uh, the link to my book is that during COVID, I wrote a book on traveling. Uh, the book is called Just Traveling, God Leaving Home and A Spirituality for the Road. And that book will come out in the next two weeks. It's already listed on Amazon. And my motorcycle ride out west was actually sort of to celebrate uh, the book that I wrote about traveling, where I sort of encourage people to, uh, to leave their homes and to discover this beautiful world in which we live. Well, I see over your shoulder, um, I have not a screenshot, but I have these books because I knew I was going to be talking to you. So you're, you have like multiple degrees. So I wanted to kind of make myself look as impressive as possible. <laughs> Meanwhile, over your shoulder, you uh, where's the screenshot that you have um, over your shoulder? Tell me about yeah, So uh, you'll see a, a road in a meadow and that is actually the road that leads into the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Hmm. And um, a, a few years ago, I thought I would develop a website called God Along the Way because I ride uh, many miles on my motorcycle and it feels to me as if I've met God many times in many different places, many different people. Um, and uh, I, uh, I created this sort of collage of two images, the one I took, the North Rim, this meadow, and then I just morphed a map into it through Photoshop. Um, but it was a, meant to be a part of a, a website that I, that I started building. Um, and actually it coincided with me coming to Vanderbilt and then my life took a different turn coming to Vandy and, and, and that project, I, I just stopped. But I do think the book that's coming out is sort of a result of, of this project where I'm really intrigued about um, the, the beginning narratives we have in scripture of God, um, actually many, many narratives, is that God is always on the move. And if you go and read the Gospels and you look at Jesus's life, um, unless Jesus is eating with somebody, uh, Jesus is almost always on the move from town to town, from place to place. So um, in my book, I sort of explore this image that God is the earth roamer, that God roams the earth. That's, that's who God is. And uh, since you and I are made into God's likeness, you and I would like to roam the earth too. So my book is basically just an exploration of how do we do that? How do we roam the earth as sort of ethical Christians who want to change this world for the better? How, how do we do that? And that's kind of what my thoughts were all about. Hmm. Yako, it sounds very interesting. And I looked over your left shoulder as your beloved country of South Africa, where you were very 
uh, influential in my own recent trip of, of, of returning to South Africa uh, on, a, on a pilgrimage. And, um, and so uh, I'm, I'm struck by that. I'm, I'm, I'm struck by, um, I have not been on the motorcycle traveling the country as you have. And I know this is not your first trip um, around the country that you, you, you do it almost yearly. And so I, I do hope that you will uh, share some of those stories when you're with us on August the 15th. But uh, I have noticed that um, people are on the move. I'm noticing so many pictures of people in their national parks um, th th this year, and I, um, I, I sense that um, there is a real uh, hunger uh, as never before um, for physicality and for uh, people hitting the road. So I think you were, you've struck a nerve, and you struck a nerve before um, would, while, while COVID was going on, which I find very interesting, and that in this time of kind of uh, when religious conviction uh, and practices may be becoming more marginal, that interest in things such as what I did of a pilgrimage, um, which was walking or a pilgrimage, which may be getting in the car or a pilgrimage, which may be um, on a motorcycle is, is growing in, 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 in fervor. Um, and and are you, uh, it sounds like you're finding that to be the case and thus the Absolutely, I, I would say that we are discovering traveling, uh, pilgrimage, um, going to the outdoors. I, I think we are discovering that as a spiritual practice. And, and it's not the spiritual practice like prayer, for instance, or meditation, or uh, it certainly is not uh, the same ritual as having Holy Communion or something of that kind. But I do think that the act of leaving and making yourself vulnerable to be changed and transformed by nature and other people, that that is a core aspect of the Christian journey, the Christian faith. And so um, if you and I can reclaim leaving home as a spiritual practice, uh, the potential locked up in that practice is immense. Uh, I almost want to say you cannot really leave your home if you do it in a mindful kind of way and not be changed, not be transformed uh, in the process. Well, I'm interested, and I know everyone else is, in this concept of God as the earth roamer in this time when we are wanting to put uh, rubber to road or um, soul, um, soul to pavement um, or to go for a walk in the woods. And so I know that people are gonna wanna be here on August the 15th. And so thank you so much for joining us. And we'll hear more of this under this sense of um, the I am sayings of, of, of Jesus as we understand and expand our understanding of who God is. So August 15th, Yaku Haman, um, professor at Vanderbilt Divinity School will be with us um, here at East Brentwood Presbyterian Church in Nashville, Tennessee, at the corner of Wilson Pike and Concord Road. We meet at 10 o'clock. We also, um, what uh, Yako has to say, will be on a podcast that we'll relate, relate um, put out uh, later on in the week. And uh, for those who are being uh, with us on site, we'll have communion that day uh, as part of our own spiritual practice as, as people of faith. Um, to join with the community through communion. Yako, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the 15th, and thank you for listening, everybody. Thanks, John. Blessings.